So we have a function f of x, um, and the function for f of x is equal is x squared minus x plus 1. Now, we've already worked on evaluating functions. And we, when we evaluated functions, remember we found out what the value was, and we plugged that value into our function. So for what we call this is the difference quotient, for the difference quotient, what they want us to do is they want us to evaluate our function on two different terms. They want us to evaluate this function for 2 plus h, then they want us to subtract it from the value of this function for 2. And then they want us to divide it all by h, where the constraint is h cannot equal 0. So what we have to do is we have to evaluate this function twice. So let's do it the first time. It says f of 2 plus h. So I'm going to say f of 2 plus h for this function is going to be 2 plus h squared minus 2 plus h plus 1. All right, so that's the first thing I did. I just evaluated my, this function for 2 plus h. And when I go ahead and do this, I'm going to get 4 plus 4h plus h squared minus 2 minus h plus 1. Then I can combine my like terms, and I'll write this in uh, the form, so I get h squared plus 3h, and then plus 3. All right, so that was my, that's my function evaluated for f of 2 plus h. Then the next thing it says, now evaluate it for f of 2. So I'll say f of 2 equals, and then remember you just plug the value in for x. So 2 squared minus 2 plus 1. So when I evaluate this, I get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2, plus 1. So therefore, 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So now, let's go ahead and put it back into this kind of formula. So if I was going to, um, or in this kind of setup. So therefore, I have... That's f of 2 plus h. That's f of 2. We have to subtract those two, and then we have to divide it by h. So I'm going to write h squared plus 3h plus 3 is equal to, I'm sorry, subtract 3 all over h, where h cannot equal 0. So now, what I notice is these can cancel out. I can actually take out, a, I can factor out an H. So therefore, I'm left with H plus 3, where H cannot equal 0. And once we get later in the year and in calculus, you guys will understand exactly what that means. But all you really have to do for the problem is like I said, if you just evaluate each one of these for your functions and to go through and then just kind of put it back into that into real and then invent, you know, simplify it as best as possible, your final answer is h plus 3 when h cannot equal 0. I got it all on